Welcome to Star Citizen, the Alpha 3.11.1 and an exploration guide. Today we are traveling far away to discover strange worlds, unknown life forms and new civilizations. Uh, at least this is how we imagine exploration, the exploration of space. However, this is currently not really possible in the verse, but what is possible we look at the different areas. And even if we do not yet encounter alien civilization or life forms, the exploration is already a game mechanics which promises a lot of fun and in any case creates an extraordinary atmosphere. And for this we currently have several possibilities. We can take paid missions where we have to search and find missing crew members or crashed spaceships, search for missing persons in the caves or bring back a flight recorder, by example. Again, missions can be combined, which means we can find the missing crew and recover the flight recorder at the same time, and also do some illegal missions on the side. So far, there are already some story missions that have been set to music and are definitely worth a closer look. And in the last part of this guide, we take a look at a crashed large battleship, the wreck of the UEE Navy Javelin. And in this guide, we can also find this wreck at night. In the first part of this guide, we will deal with the normal exploration missions that you can get through your Moby Glass. Here, for example, we have been given the task of searching for the crew of a missing constellation. If you are looking for crashed wrecks or missing crew, it makes sense to look for synergy effects in the Moby Glass. For example, to bring back a flight recorder that is in the same wreck. And there are also one or two illegal missions under the personal tab, such as the recovery of a stolen cargo where you can make a relatively good UEC profit in a short time. Exploration missions are mostly peaceful, which means that you won't be involved in space battles or in shooter missions. However, a little warning. There are such missions where you can meet pirates in larger shipwrecks. These are possible from a Starfarer or even larger ships and here you should perhaps take one or two weapons with you. Furthermore, there are these types of missions not only in space like here, but also on planets or moons, where we search for crashed ships and cargo. No matter in which area these missions are, mostly very coherently staged and are faster and risk-free way to UEC to earn. With most game versions, the exploration has been improved, so we have less and less the problem of not finding any missing crew members and therefore not being able to complete the mission. A tip for searching in this Debris fields, make your own search plan. That means work systematically from the outside to the inside. Here I have made the best experience. Often there are crew members in the stern and in the cockpit area outside. That means in space or on a planet, that you can find one or the other crew member. The places where they are located are not always the same, but the whole thing is randomly distributed. However, most of the time we look for several crew members inside the ship, who are then distributed there. That means take care not to fall or crash somewhere. With us in weightlessness, it is of course a minor problem. To complete the mission it is enough to press and hold the F key and when you are close to the missing crewman you can identify him with a left click. As for the payment in general for such a mission, if you find the crewman you will be paid immediately. So to get the full reward you have to find all crew members one by one. With later versions of the game we will add the search and rescue gameplay where not only have to find corpses but also living persons which we can save with a Cutlass Red or other medicine ships. This will be a big lead forwards in terms of gameplay. But now we come to the second part of this guide. Here we will have a look at one of the most famous and oldest missions in Star Citizen. I have already made a detailed guide where you can get the mission and how you can complete it. As a shorter guide, you can find the missing person in the Crusader section. Here we are for example on Port Olizar and get the story mission PI Wanted under the personal tab. 
And for this mission we have to go to the Korolek station, which is located near Daymar. And since I don't want to be complete spoiler, especially for beginners, we don't give away the whole mission. We will search for a missing person here at the station and find one or two clues and follow them up. And the area of discovery, Star Citizen has in my opinion one of its greatest strengths. And here I mean the combination possibilities that are offered. At first we are in a spaceship, can get out at any place and make a spacewalk. Then we enter a station for example in this mission without a fight, but it is also of course possible to land on other stations and then switch to a first person shooter fight. And that's exactly the strength of Star Citizen in my opinion. The mission design especially for the mission PI wanted is also very well done. If you read the Heinz and really take your time, you will even get an additional bonus at the end. The space station seems to be damaged and already abandoned. And we find here everywhere smaller information and Heinz. These are partly set to music and we can move through the station here in weightlessness. Hey Darno, it's Rosine over at Corporate Ops. Give me a shout back when you clock in. Just wanted to follow up a bit on the distro issue. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. And as one of the few currently available story missions, PI Wanted gives us an insight in which direction the story design, respectfully the possibilities in Star Citizen, what the missions and PvE content can give. And here again a little hint. There are synergy effects for the mission PI Wanted too. There are other missions which are also about the Kovalek station. For example, finding a lost shipment or other things we will have to search the station again. This way we can go deeper and deeper into the station and possibly find one or the other clue that we might have missed otherwise. Of course, the mission PI Wanted is not the only story mission that Star Citizen currently has to offer. There are also very interesting missions in other areas such as illegality or even in the field of combat missions, which are also set to music and together with the respective mission givers create a completely different atmosphere. But especially for this mission, there is a little special feature. Normally, if we fulfill a mission goal, it will be automatically updated and we will be paid. In this case, we have to open our mission manager again yourselves and actively transmit the data we found. Depending on how much of this data we found and transmitted, our reward will be lost later on. That means, if we fulfill all points and really clear up every detail of the mission, the mission reward will be the bigger. A nice mechanism where diligent players are rewarded extra. And as a last tip, especially concerning this mission, if you really open the last two locked doors, we have all the information we need to get the maximum reward, but here you have to stay in the game for a few more minutes after you have finished the mission. Here we are called again by the wife, who thanks us again and transfers us some extra UECs. But let's go to the next part of this guide, the part that is most exciting for a real explorer. However, we don't get paid with UEC for this, but get experience and a little highlight to see. That's why we are looking for the Javelin Wreck on Daymar, which is located in the Crusader system. You can get to Daymar relatively quickly from Port Olizar, among others. Once you have arrived in orbit around Daymar, our first destination is OM3. You can reach this buoy by activating your quantum drive with the tap of the B key without having set a route and looking for the buoy OM3. If you are on the back on the planet, first jump to the buoy OM5. From here you will have a clear line of sight to OM3. As there are several ways to find the javelin wreck, I will show you one way how we find it at any time, at the day or night. Our first navigation point is the station Kuderor, which is located behind the planet. With spooled quantum drive we can locate this point through the planet and fly straight to it. 
When we have done this, we will have reached the next point from which we can navigate further to the surface. As soon as we have reached the surface, we are heading for the next point. We are looking for the point OM5. This point is also behind the planet and if we just align our ship straight on the horizon and fly in the direction of OM5, we are on the right way to the wreck. With this kind of navigation it depends on the distances with which we triangulate the target point. Here we fly up to a distance of about 451 km to the point OM5. And as soon as we have reached this distance, we align ourselves again to Kudur Or. Here again, behind. There is still a station Kudur Or closed, but this is the wrong one. We are looking for the normal Kudur Or station. If we have approached OM5 up to a distance of 451 km, we now change the direction to Kudur Or and align ourselves straight to the horizon. At a distance of 461 km to Kudur Or, we have arrived at our destination. As soon as we come into a mountain range, that means more and more mountains, you will definitely on the right track. And when we have reached the last coordinates, it is enough if you look a bit to the right and you have found the Javelin Wreck. If you are on the road at night, here are some smaller coordinates to verify your position in all directions. From the last point Kudur Or, 461 km, in the direction of Dharma Richard you need a distance of 112 km and after Arcorp Mining 220 km. So you can easily triangulate the whole thing exactly at night. The Javelin Wreck in front of us does not look really big or spectacular at first sight. However, we are still a few hundred meters away and the closer we get and especially when we land on the ground sometime, the more impressive the wreck becomes. And should you enjoy exploring or this kind of gameplay, this wreck is must visit. One more tip, if you found the wreck, every group member can fly directly to you and doesn't have to search for it himself. To find something or even a souvenir to take home is currently not yet available. But I can imagine that such wrecks and other random finds can offer a reward or something similar someday. Especially with the upcoming iCache system, this would be a possible without any problems. And once we are close to this supported large battleship, which is currently one of the largest ships in the verse, you will soon realize how small we are. For me, exploration is one of the core mechanics that makes a big attraction in Star Citizen. There are several ships that specialized in this, like the 600 Eyes and Exploration variant or the iconic Carrick. The hopefully soon to be released Grey Corsair is of course also one of them, like the Constellation Phoenix. These ships are built for discovering things, exploring strange civilizations and lifeforms and this is one of the core mechanics I wait for in Star Citizen and with such missions or wrecks I can already try a little bit. And the view alone was worth the trip, even through there is no UAC for this. And if you are interested in exploration missions, or free exploration, you are definitely welcome to join us, because we also have a soft spot for this. I hope you enjoyed the video and you leave me a like and a subscribe here. The exploration mechanics are one of the core features why I started with Star Citizen. The freedom to fly where I want to go, to discover what I want to discover and to find things like a crash javelin is definitely an incentive to keep exploring and going on expeditions. So I hope we will see more of this in the future. Currently there is of course another giveaway, a Tavrin War uniform in white and a PC game, Cyberpunk 2077. Details what you have to do for this you can find in the description. And also I would like to recommend Game Glass. With Game Glass you have the possibility to control game functions on a tablet on your phone and you have a real added value for the citizen or Elite Dangerous. And with the link you get another 5% on everything. And the most important point at the end. Thank you very much to all Patreons and channel members. Without you the whole thing would not be possible in this form. And I say thanks again. You guys rock! And of course, I'm looking forward to your opinions and comments, I'll try to answer all of them. I say goodbye, and as always, see you in the verse!
as a new little feature, there are now outtakes when they are available. We are actually on the road as a group with an Ursa rover and wanted to explore the Javelin Wreck extensively. However, the sandworms from Daywar struck and swallowed our rover with the whole crew. However, these are not these sandworms from the trailers, but the invisible versions. 